Pancit canton is one of my favorite noodle dishes that you can possibly make um, in the Philippines. It's very simple, it's very convenient, it's very large format. It's perfect for a family or a gathering and people can uh, you know, grab it as they want. It's messy, it's beautiful, it's flavorful, it's delicious. One of my favorite recipes to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do just that, continuing with our 12 recipes of Christmas with Landers. We're hard at work here to try to make you have the perfect Christmas dinner and all the recipes you need to do that. So once I'm done doing whatever I'm doing right now, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. How do I get down from here? Pancit Canton is one of those dishes that everyone has their own version of. It's basically just beautiful egg noodles, Canton noodles. You can find those in the supermarket here or most Asian supermarkets around the world. Um, these ones right here. You can use fresh ones, you can use dry ones, depends on what you have on hand. Aside from that, it's just a mixture of just a ton of ingredients. I didn't want to bore you with lots of cutting and everything like that, so I did a lot of prep beforehand to get everything ready for you. As I said, this recipe series is all about practicality and to get you in the kitchen, cooking quickly, and making that Christmas dinner and just focusing on what food is about, and that's a conversation between you and your loved ones rather than you slaving away in the kitchen while everyone's having a good time. So we're gonna start really quickly. Onions, garlic, very Filipino, in the pan. Start off with some oil. Actually, I was lying. I'm gonna start off with the pork belly just to render that fat, and I'm gonna use that for the onions and the garlic. So nice, thick cut pork belly is exactly what you're looking for. So I'm gonna cut it in cubes like that, and then we're gonna strip it up just like little bacon pieces. That is pure fat. Oh, and while I'm cutting this, and it's very boring, I'm gonna plug this shirt that I'm wearing. If you're interested in the Fat Kid Inside merch or any merch from Solen or Nico or anything, the link is in the description below. It's merch by .ph. We deliver nationwide and worldwide as well. Um, so make sure to get your merch before it goes away because in Christmas, it's gonna get really busy. All that goes into a hot pan. It's gonna get nice colored, nice little sear. While that gets going, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the other meats that we're gonna put in. I have some chicken gizzards right here. Chop these up. Again, the meat that you put in is really up to you. You can go really traditional or you can go overloaded. This time we're making a pancit version that is extremely filled with lots of different ingredients. And aside from the gizzards, I also have some pork liver. Go ahead and add in our gizzards. Flavor that with some garlic and some onions. Toss in our pork liver. Next, I'm gonna grab some pecan, which I'm just gonna slice up. Just a couple pieces in there. Put in a little bit of chicken stock. Maybe cover it up to about one third. Cover for about 10 minutes until everything gets nice and saucy. If you look at the meats come together nice and beautiful, toss in some nice plump shrimp in there. I added this last because I don't want it to cook too much. All of this is gonna be more or less half cooked. The shrimp you'll see will grab some color very quickly. Add in some pepper. A bit more salt. Got another pan out, a little bit of oil. I'm gonna throw in these tofu balls. It's kind of like tofu dim sum and I'm just gonna toast those nicely. That's gonna be on top of the pancit. It's gonna be mwah. Our meat mix is pretty much done. Transfer that into a pan here. Right away, we're gonna toss in a bunch of ingredients. I've got some julienne carrots and bell peppers. I've got some green beans and some snow peas. Don't really need to add much at this point. All we're looking to do is kind of half cook everything that's in here. Quick, high heat, just get everything nice and mixed. Once your vegetables are just slightly wilted, that's exactly what we're looking for. Put that in here, again separate, and then we're gonna put everything together one more time. In here, base seasoning goes in, chicken stock. This is what we're gonna be cooking the noodles in. About one and one half cup, third cup more or less of soy sauce. Bring that to a quick boil. Beautifully toasted, look at that. Got a nice little simmer going. We're gonna go ahead and toss in 
our noodles. There's no graceful way of doing this. This will cook really quickly, usually three minutes. You don't want to overcook it, and that's where you toss in all the other ingredients one more time. I'm not the cleanest cook, as you can see. I, have, I lack finesse, as they say. You want to get to a point where most of it is heated out, and you'll see it'll reduce and reduce and reduce. And once you've got something that's still slightly crunchy, then we can go ahead and start adding all the other ingredients. So in go my meats first. Yummy, look at all that. Okay, this is it's getting heavy. Then we're gonna toss in our vegetables. Now that is a beautiful looking dish. Lots of color, lots of flavor. Finish it off, some sesame oil, be generous here. A tiny bit more of soy sauce for my liking. A little bit more chicken stock. I'm gonna take my tofu here. I'm gonna go ahead and just slice it. Put that in here. Top that off with some kinchai or some Chinese parsley. This can just kind of go all over. Let's try it out. That's delicious. Yee haw! It's enough to serve a little army. Perfect. Almost a one pot dish, except obviously for the tofu, prop everything up. Now if this doesn't make you want to say Feliz Navidad, Maligayan Pasco, Joyeux Noel, and Merry Christmas, I don't know what does. One of my favorite things to do is just try to grab a little bit of everything. Some kikiam over here, some of the tofu, some of the pork, some of the gizzards, some of the liver. Put it all together. I think the vegetables are just there to make it pretty. Mmm, that's flavor. And look at how heavy this is. You serve this to a big dinner table, they see the love that's put in it, they see all the ingredients that are inside of it. It just makes it so colorful and so, just so inviting and so appetizing. And so that's why I think Pancit deserves its spot in the 12 recipes that should make it to your Noche Buena dinner table. If you wanna see more, please make sure to catch the previous videos and please make sure to catch the next videos because we're gonna be completing these 12. And if you do end up making them, please send them with the photos. I'd love to see it. And I'd love to see the faces on your family's faces. I'd love to see the smiles on your family's faces while enjoying this dish. And again, this is all for you to have an enjoyable Christmas. So please make sure to do so.